Hey, fourth graders, I've got a quick lesson for you today. We are looking at last week, we looked at nominative noun pronouns. This week, we are looking at possessive pronouns. So the possessive case pronouns, remember pronouns replace a noun. So instead of saying, uh, Miss Bigelow went to the store, Miss Bigelow bought some groceries, Miss Bigelow ate a snack on the way home, Miss Bigelow cooked her dinner. We would use pronouns to replace Miss Bigelow went to the grocery store. She bought groceries. She had a snack on the way home. So instead of saying the name over and over and over and over again, we can use pronouns to replace nouns. Today we're looking at possessive case pronouns. Possessive case are used for showing possession or ownership. And I will show you examples. The first person singular is mine. For example, my brother's shirt is black. Mine is green. So the pronoun mine is replacing the noun Miss Bigelow. Instead of saying my brother's shirt is black, Miss Bigelow's is green, because I'm talking about myself, we're going to use the word mine. And I'm, we're using mine because we're talking about my shirt, which I possess. Second person singular is yours. The phone that is ringing is yours. So instead of using a name, like the phone that is ringing is Matt's, if I was talking to you, I would say the phone that is ringing is yours. Third person singular, his, hers, or its. Henry likes soccer. His favorite team is Tottenham, I think. <laughs> Instead of using Henry again here, I'm using the word his. We would use hers if we were a, a, a female feminine prone, uh, noun or its. Hers, his, hers, or its. First person plural is ours. Mr. Shively's class pet is Joy, ours is Marshall. So instead of saying Miss Bigelow's class, we would replace that noun with the pronoun ours. Ours is Marshall. And we are taking ownership of the pet Marshall. Second person plural is yours. So same as first person, except yours, I'm talking to a group of you. My elementary school was Elton Hills, yours, is Cooley Montessori. So again, instead of saying my elementary school was Alton Hills, your elementary school is Cooley Montessori, I'm replacing your elementary school with yours. Third person plural is theirs. Clara's project is small, theirs is big. So instead of saying Mary Mae, Naeli, Maddie, and anyone else is theirs big, we're just uh, replacing that now those nouns with the pronoun theirs. I want you to make sure that you're using pronoun possessive pronouns though and not possessive nouns and I'll show you the difference. The first sentence says the king's crown is red. The word kings is a possessive noun because it's uh, the king owns the crown. It's not replacing any word. It's, it's part of the sentence. It's describing where who owns the crown, the king owns the crown. And the second sentence, so let me, the king's crown is red. The second sentence says hers is blue. Hers is a possessive pronoun because we're replacing the word hers with maybe the queen's crown. So the possessive pronoun hers is replacing the queen's crown. Does that make sense? If we were to replace the king's crown with a possessive pronoun, we could say his crown is red. So make sure you pay attention when you're creating your sentences that you're using possessive pronouns, not possessive nouns. And here is the chart for the possessive case for a reminder. First person singular is mine. Second person singular, yours. Third person singular, hers, his, its. First person plural is ours. Second person plural is yours. And third person plural is theirs. Awesome. Your assignment then is to oops, create a slideshow or keynote 
just like I did. I used Google Slides. You could do that too. You could also create a newscast. That might be kind of fun. So create an iMovie. I haven't seen a lot of those, at least in my class. Maybe Mr. Scheibler's class have been doing those. Um, but use each, create uh, an example for each one. So first person, second person, third person singular, first person, second person, third person plural. So at least six, remember that they must replace nouns, not describe them. And uh, two sentences lots of times works best or like two parts of a sentence, like um, Ella's hat is blue, comma, mine is red, right? If you just had the sentence, mine is red, you wouldn't know what we were talking about. We need something before that to know what we're talking about. Anyway, can't wait to see your examples. Thanks.